For today's video, we've partnered up with Batch 22, a new American style Aquavit I became aware of through a friend. Batch 22 is a new entry into the spirits market dreamed up by actor Matthew Arkin. And honestly, I find it pretty refreshing that an actor who is getting into the spirits game isn't just sourcing more tequila and slapping a label on it. After attending a launch party a couple of weeks ago, uh, meeting the talented folks behind the brand and seeing how much passion they have for what they're doing, not to mention the quality of the spirit, I knew that this was something that I really wanted to get involved with. But before we dive into cocktails and to really understand what makes Batch 22 a unique product, we gotta know a little bit about what Aquavit is. Aquavit is a spirit usually made out of either grain or potato-based alcohol and macerated with botanicals, not unlike gin. But what makes Aquavit different than gin is that its main flavor is caraway with an undertone of dill. And there are, of course, a proprietary blend of other botanicals which make up the flavor profile. Confusingly, juniper is also also used, but Aquavit, it doesn't really taste like gin. It's really its own thing. It's primarily produced in Scandinavia, where it's been being made since the 15th century, and it's typically drank in the winter months. There are three main styles of Aquavit, Danish, Norwegian, and Swedish, which all differ slightly in their approach and flavor. Danish Aquavit tends to not be matured and leans a little heavier on the dill, so you get a lot stronger coriander, caraway, and dill flavors. Norwegian Aquavit tends to be made from a potato distillate, they use more cumin in their blends and they amplify the citrus elements making a brighter style spirit. And then Swedish Aquavit is usually distilled from a grain-based spirit with anise and fennel in its botanical makeup. Swedish tends to be a little smoother for lack of a better term, which I don't really like that term, but you know, whatever. And it's really good for newbies that don't really know much about Aquavit and are, are just being introduced. What Batch 22 is trying to do is engineer an American style Aquavit. What they've done is enhance the caraway and dill as well as the citrus and then dial back on the other botanicals in the blend. So what you're left with is a very easy drinking spirit with a nice flavor profile, but nothing too jarring. They've really done an exceptional job. Originally, this video was gonna be titled How to Winterize Your Vodka Cocktails, but truth is, Aquavit works in place of gin too. So today I've worked an assortment of cocktails into the video to show you just how versatile this spirit is. Let's get into it. The California razor blade is just a simple riff on a Holland razor blade, a little bit of spice, very nice and easy. This one's gonna be good. So what we're gonna do here is grab our tin and we're just gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, two dashes fire water bitters, and two ounces of our batch 22. Add some ice to our tin. Give it a nice hard shake. And strain it. Just a little dusting of cayenne. Mmm. Yeah. You get a little bit of spice from those bitters. You get all of the flavor profile of the Batch 22 and that habanero bitters really plays nicely into that sort of winterized botanical blend. You get a little bit of dill, you get a little bit of the caraway, and so you have some citrus from the lemon balanced out by the simple syrup with just another twinge of spice coming from the cayenne pepper. Nicely balanced cocktail. There it is, the California razor blade. Go out and make it. You know we're not gonna be winterizing cocktails without doing an espresso martini variation. Come on guys, what are we doing? All right, so first thing we're gonna do here is one ounce of espresso, half an ounce of simple syrup, half an ounce of coffee liqueur, one and a half ounces of our Aquavit, with a couple of dashes of the uh, Angostura Coco. I'm gonna use this nice bar fly glass. If you guys wanna buy this glass, a lot of people have been asking me about it, look in the description below and you will find a link, my friends. I'm gonna just put some ice in here. Give it a nice shake. And strain. Just gonna place some coffee beans up in here like so. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's give it the old sippy poo. Yeah. You know, you would think that the coffee and the bitters are such strong flavors that they're just gonna run over the aquavit, but you don't. You get all the caraway, you get a little bit of the dill, and it goes really well with coffee. So not only does dill go good with peach, we can now add coffee to the list of that. I'm gonna taste that again. I really like that. So there it is, the aquavit espresso. 
All right, winter basil smash. We're just gonna be pairing up all the botanicals in the aquavit with some basil, some lemon, some simple syrup. It's gonna be good. Okay, first things first. One ounce of lemon juice. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Two ounces of our aquavit. I'm gonna be putting some basil up in here. Give it a little muddle. Preload our glass with some ice here. Shake. And we're just gonna strain it. I'm just gonna give this a little slappy poo to release that aroma and throw it on top of the cocktail like that. So there it is, the winter basil smash. Let's take a... Oh my God, it's almost better than gin. It's almost as if I shouldn't even have to describe the flavor profile. It's everything that you think that it is. It's got the lemon, it's got the basil. The lemon is balanced out by that simple syrup and then you have the caraway, the dill, all those botanical elements inside the aquavit that's playing through the basil. It all makes a really nice flavor profile. Almost tastes like a garden, it's really good. I could deal with a little celery bitters in here though. And that would be nice as well. But there you have it, the winter basil smash. All right, so the next cocktail that we're doing is something that I am kind of going out on a limb. I don't know if this is gonna work. It's a reverse martini. I haven't thought of a name for it. So if you guys wanna name it, hit me up in the comments and see what you guys can come up with and I'll, I'll pick the best one. Okay, so first things first, a couple dashes of orange bitters. Then we're gonna do two and a half ounces of dry vermouth. And what's nice about these jiggers is that they are two and a half ounces to the top. So they just have to do that, bam! And then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of the batch 22. Crack the first cube, crack the second cube too, just for good measure. Put some ice in this bad boy. I'm gonna do a lemon twist on this. Bottoms up. Hey, not bad, not bad at all. You know, what's kind of refreshing here is that we took the Aquavit and we decided to make it not the main flavor profile of this cocktail. So what you really get is that sharp botanical flavor of the vermouth, right? You can tell that it's wine-based and it's got that nice sharp kind of botanical punch, and then you're playing in the caraway and dill, which goes really nicely with the other botanical blend. A little bit of orange bitters, just kind of balance out those flavors, and then playing up the citrus in the aquavit with a little bit of lemon. This is a really nice drink. And a little bit lower ABV. So there it is, the untitled martini. All right, guys, hope you liked this episode. So go buy yourself some Batch 22 if you're in the Los Angeles market and make some cocktails. So if Batch 22 is not in your area, uh, pick a Swedish Aquavit, uh, which will go really nicely in all these cocktails, and then you can try them too. So the pro tip for this video is don't be afraid to experiment, guys. Spirits, by and large, are very regional products, and you are not going to have everything that we have on this channel, and we're not gonna have the things that you have in your area, and the challenge when it comes to recreating these cocktails is really thinking about what products you have available to you and then subbing them out into your cocktail. So what you really need to do is start thinking about the flavor profiles that are going on in the cocktail and what is gonna benefit that. If you don't have gin, maybe you use Aquavit. If you don't have vodka, maybe you use gin. Uh, maybe you use another uh, neutral spirit. Maybe you go crazy and use 191 proof Everclear, who knows? The fact is, is that uh, the scarcity is the mother of invention and you should trust yourself and your instincts to go out there and make something new. I will see you guys on another time.